What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over what snacks to have for your step one. I know this is a very niche video but I know someone left in the comments below in a previous video that he would like me to go over what snacks to have during step one. So without further ado, let's get into it. So first things first, let's get this out the way. If you have need for any help on anything step one or two related, go visit thedoctorjourney.com. We have free resources and we offer tutoring as well. And we have free group tutoring session, one free group tutoring session. You can email me at thedoctorjourney21 at gmail.com or you can go on the website and find our contact info and contact us there. Anyways, let's get on with the video. So what snacks to have for your step one? First off, you gotta simulate your breaks exactly how it's gonna be on the day of. You can't just, you know, do random things and think that the day of the test, you're gonna change up everything and it's gonna go well. Nothing goes exactly to plan unless you plan exactly for it. So what do I mean by that? You can't just think, okay, I'm gonna eat whatever, take long breaks at, during my practice test, and then during my actual test, I'm gonna eat super clean and gonna take time breaks and I'm gonna ace it. No, you gotta do the acing things at home or wherever you take your practice test as well. So first off, you gotta have your snacks prepared. For me, I liked having mixed nuts in there, macadamia nuts, almonds, pecans, just a mix assortment of nuts, some healthy fats, some good fiber in there, some good protein as well, some glucose in there keeps the brain running well and long sustained energy um, so that was where my snacks and then on top of that I had green tea green tea was something that I practiced with for years and years whenever I did practice tests for any type of big test I found it gave me some energy long sustained energy and I'm someone who's really sensitive to caffeine so green tea was good for me but for those of you out there take whatever you need um, I know some people are like don't have caffeine it's gonna make you pee now if you're that type of person that get, has to pee really fast after having caffeine caffeine don't have this at all but I found this way to be kind of a hack for myself to keep energy especially throughout the latter half of the test when mentally I'm just drained these caffeine things really kept me going and then for my lunch I always had a chicken salad sandwich from Boudin if you guys know what Boudin is chicken salad sandwich pretty good not the best thing but it's pretty good I know it's some white bread some simple carbs not good for you but why did I have it I like that simple carb rush personally I like feeling that energy right away and then that paired with the caffeine that I had kept me long sustained. It's probably not the scientifically best thing to do for lunch, but basically what I'm saying is figure out your lunches well in advance of your test. Figure out your snacks well in advance of your test and your drinks and come prepared with them on test day as well. Don't forget them at home. I almost forgot some of my water at home during test day. So basically prepare, do all of it during your test. Like for example, I was so strict with my breaks. Take five minute timers after every second because that's how much break I wanted. I would run to the bathroom, use the bathroom, eat snacks, drink a couple sips. I had a time to perfection. I knew how much time I could have for eating. Like mentally, I was like, okay, this is enough time I can eat and drink. Now I can run to the bathroom. And this helped me really prepare for the actual test. One thing that didn't help me was my bathroom is way closer at home to where I was sitting to study versus well, in the actual day, bathroom is pretty far away. So yeah, those things you can't account for sometimes, but account for as many things as you can, okay? You guys want to do well on this test you got to do everything in the book now you can't leave anything up to chance of course chance is going to be there but take everything in the book and do it so plan out your snacks plan out your drinks plan out your break times and most importantly plan out your lunches as well um have it all ready know what you're getting and if you're getting outside food like i did a chicken salad sandwich from boudin have it at home the night before make sure it's at your home so in the morning no need to worry to go get anything everything's ready made and boom you just go take your test you're already practice with all the timings all the snacks it works for you it's gonna be great let's ace it so that's my little spiel on snacks so you know for you who commented on my video a few weeks ago um, hopefully this video helps but basically just be stringent and be on the dot for everything so that when the test day comes you won't be surprised and you can answer again if you need more help go visit the doctorjourney.com we offer free resources on there we offer tutoring as well and you have one free group tutoring session if you email us at the doctorjourney21 at gmail.com so again visit us there and we have an upcoming webinar in the next couple weeks hope to see you guys soon bye bye stay healthy stay happy